and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Timo. That's right, trying out a brand new deck today that I put together today, some Katarina Timo. So our thinking here is that um, you know, attacking somebody with Teemo, pretty awesome. Striking them, doubling the pu the poison puff caps in their deck, you know, that's pretty awesome. So what if you can attack more than once? So maybe we can have Katarina playing this and rallying and keep on striking them with Teemo and keep doubling up the puff caps with Teemo. That's the thought behind the deck. That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to be basically kind of playing a Noxus PNZ control deck with that being a big time finisher. You can see just tons and tons of removal spells. We got like some early good blockers with House Spider, Legion Grenadier, um, and then a whole bunch of blockers. We're of course going to be Puff Cap Peddler with um, all of our removal spells. Uh, we want to use those peddlers. And then we also have our card advantage at the top end with Static Shock drawing a card, Augmented Experimenter, um, whenever, you know, late game, we discard our hand, draw three, and also use this as a removal spell, and then also Progress Day as a draw three. Throwing in just one Eminent Benefactor is like the last card. I don't know, this card's kind of cool. We played this in a, a meme tier deck before, and it actually was pretty sweet. So, you know, like four mana, three, three, it's a fine blocker. It just trades with something, and then last breath, you create an epic card in one of your regions. And, like, these epics are pretty good. Like, we don't really need Shiraza or Kato or Pursuit. I guess those ones aren't so great. But, you know, Legion Veteran's just fine. Um, Sub Percival's awesome. Experimenter, awesome. You know, some of these things like Battering Ram with Katarina could be pretty cool. Um, you know, True Shot Barrage, Progress Day, Karina Varad. You know, maybe, like... These are some, just some pretty cool cards. So I don't know. It's We just get one of these for free. One of these um, what, 16 cards for free with the Benefactor die-in. Could definitely see playing something else. You know, like maybe the deck should have like one Rummage or something. Um, I don't know. This is like, you'd think like with a Chump Lump deck, like you'd want Rummages for the Mushroom Clouds, but that's not this kind of deck. We actually want to be casting the Mushroom Clouds um, you know, especially when we have Puff Cap Peddler in play, because we want them to have a lot of Puff Caps. That's going to be a main way that we will be winning. Um, but there we go. So that's Katarina Timo. Let's go ahead and play some games. We're going to go play five games and just kind of see how this deck does. Hopefully it does pretty well. Yeah, I'm kind of talking loud there. Maybe that's why... It was a little louder and uh, everything there. Can lower the gain just a tad. Uh, let's see, we'll mulligan the progress day to start with and I'll keep the rest. Got like two transfusions in here to help protect, to be a, a pump spell that helps protect Teemo and Puffcat Peddler. Hopefully the sound is better overall. We've got a brand new cord to go along with the mic. So hopefully the sound's a little better overall. I was probably just kind of speaking up and projecting my voice a little bit more than normal, which is why it sounded like that. We trade our two drop for their two one drops. But they have an additional plus three, plus three now to other units. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Well, we'll try Culling Strike. Do not deny me. First step's the hardest. Into darkness. Get 
Huh. Yeah, I don't know, Tizzle. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna cast the the two mana thermogenic beam because having two thermogenic beams and like if I just have one, I probably don't play it because we can we can use like that extra mana towards mushroom clouds and everything. But having the two thermogenic beams is kind of awkward, where um, you know we're gonna have to like empty our hand our mana one time and empty the mana again another time, and then. Um, and then after that, you know, augmented experimenter. Hang on, Buzzballs. Hey. Hmm. Well, this isn't great. They got some awesome Omen Hawk targets. Plus four, plus four with those. Pretty awesome. I mean, that's that's. The, I mean, that that is like the best Omen Hawk target, besides maybe Zed. That's just lethal. We got fi 15 exactly. Omen Hawk's a heck of a card. And... I don't know, I needed more... I needed different removal besides just Thermogenic Beam. <laughs> you know, like, that was just the awkwardness of Thermogenic Beam when they go wide. It's just you can only play one Thermogenic Beam a turn. You can't do any more than that. Alright, playing verse deep. Nah, you don't really want triple thermogenic beam. That game just didn't work out. Um, we're gonna mulligan house spider and... Uh, sure, we'll keep double legion grenadier. Give this a try. I don't have an auction guillotine in my deck. Thought about playing that as as that that other card, but don't have one in there. Coming in hot. Are they gonna pass and then play the one four? Okay. It doesn't make sense to me why you'd pass and then play a one four, but that's. Something I have seen a decent amount. So I don't want Teemo to get Vile Feast. And so I want to play Chump Wumps and get Mushroom Clouds and give them the Mushroom Clouds uh, before I Teemo. Because between Vile Feast, Withering Whale, like they they can do one damage fairly easily. I don't want that to happen to my poor Teemo. Danger pay. Tell me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Mm. So it won't be until next turn until I attack with Teemo. I mean, it does kind of change a little bit now that we have Transfusion. It does change things a little bit. So maybe now that we have Transfusion, we can... 
I just, what's really the point of playing Teemo this turn? I guess is the main question. Guess there's not much. Wow, looks looks like Withering Whale. I would also like them to burn cards before giving them the Mushroom Clouds, too, right? Like, we want them to have a lower deck size whenever you give them Puff Caps. So whether it's Maokai or whatever. Hey, Slow. Welcome. Corruption everywhere. Everywhere. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Next turn we'll have we had six mana this turn, so next turn we have seven plus the one we'd have eight. If I play House Spider, I can still play Progress Day next turn. Yep, the fox is great, yeah. The fox's name is Kit. Y'all didn't know this is Kit. And I wanted to put Kit in our cat deck. And now we got Kit, cat. <laughs> I'm making you hungry. away from being deep. Alright, don't want them having the life steal. This is about time when I want to start th giving them all these puff caps. Hopefully, hit them with Teemo. Come to me. It's not going to be easy to hit them, hit them with Teemo when they have an Abyssal Eye. Okay, Zufar. Thanks for the donation deck, Zufar.
get. Okay. Let's see what it is. Double rainbow with karma and lux. Cool. Thanks, Ufar. All right, we're going to try playing, let's see. So nine mana, so this would be three, seven. Okay, yeah, so we're not gonna be able to replay Katarina. So let's just try Teemo. You plan them, kid. Man, they got rid of two of my five puff caps <laughs> with those two cards that were obliterated. That's not very lucky. Just a All right, well, we are hoping to We're hoping to get him with a bunch of puff caps One. Gonna need more than that. You will feast soon enough. Five. Oh, we can't really stop. Let's see. So I'm going to be discarding this transfusion to draw three. Come on, draw draw six puff caps. Below average, you only drew two. Drawing them, draw, draw four. If, you know, eight, eight cards, ten puff caps. Draw four. One, two, three, four. Just one. Another day in the field. I'll pick him. You plan 
Adam kid. We didn't do a great job of, of puff caps. They've only drawn like three total. We gave them 20. They've only drawn like three. And the rest they just obliterated or tossed. I think they've drawn four, actually. I think they've drawn four. No, that tosses two more cards and then puts two cards that don't have puff caps in. See? Now they... Yeah, they are... They're quite good at tossing cards with puff caps. Come on, just one of these have three. And so life springs anew. We need to draw burn spells. That's great. Static shock's good. He's so close. So close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I think I just passed turn. Like, if they have atrocity, they're are they just throwing out atrocity? Probably not, right? Or like maybe I mean they probably should throw out atrocity if they have atrocity right now, because it's a 50-50 chance whether they die or you know, better than that, I guess. I think I'm supposed to just pass. The problem with passing is if they don't draw a puff cap, and then if they draw burn spell or atrocity. Three T told me about this one. By burn spell, I mean. Okay, so now they're still at six and five. By burn spell, I mean uh, life gain card or atrocity. I just I don't think it's very likely they draw a life gain card or atrocity because they've tossed so much stuff. I think it's basically there we go. The cards that are left are like champions and sea monsters at that point of the game. So the reason So you're probably just saying like why aren't you just casting your mystic shot? The reason not to is because if they do have atrocity or life gain in hand I play Mystic Shot, they respond with Atrocity, I lose. I play Mystic Shot, they respond with, you know, Withering Will, Grass the Undying, that kind of stuff. And gain the life. Where I can wait, I can wait for them to play those and then respond to with Mystic Shot. Because we have the, the Puff Cap that will likely kill them. As, uh, you know, that's kind of hanging over their head. Um, I think, I think we just keep all this. No, they had, they had mana for atrocity. Just a second, doorbell just rang. Be right back. I think I'm just going to keep that hand. I'll just let it keep on its own. I guess I should mute just in case.
Puppy ran outside, and I'm, I'm trying to get Puppy back. She's running around. So, I'll be right back. Man, I wish I could say I'm sorry to my opponent. They were probably not too happy of me, like, wasting their time. Or what they thought was wasting time. Um. Yeah, I went to the top. Okay. So I thought it was pretty likely for, like, a Withering Will was kind of likely here. And so I definitely thought about just playing the Grenadier first. Puppy, why are you running around everywhere? Come here. You're super happy now. I will tend this garden. All right, calling strike the Maokai. Puppy's like, yeah, I gotta go outside and run around. I'm so happy. Chump Wump here, I can just Mystic Shot that Life Steal thing next turn. Don't need to do it right now. Um, do I want to give him the Pup Caps right now? Or wait? I kind of want to right now. No, I guess we wait. Puppy sitting up here, so my other dog Harvey that's I'm petting with my left hand because whenever I'm here. If Puppy's here, then Harvey. Harvey's like, you gotta be petting me too. We've given him 10 puff caps so far. I don't want to see Grass the Undying, but I can't stop Grass the Undying. I think it's actually probably just worth it just to attack with everything. Darn. I wonder what... Thanks, man. You only got a donation deck there. I wonder if, like, honestly, the best play probably would, like, after I played my... Okay, so that was not the best play playing the Teemo right then, because then they knew they had to use the Grass the Undying for that. After I played my 3-3, three, three, I should have just played a Puff Cap and passed and see if they tap mana underneath and allow me to go for Teemo. Yeah, that was that was not the best play by me. Never know what hit him. 
Good news, they still have tons of puff caps. But yeah, that was that was a mistake. Okay. Anyway, um. That was the card I wanted to see. Gotcha. I got rid of some pop caps though, so we're not doubling up as much. Alright, Timo. Alright, so Nenyo with the the meme tier deck. Kill him. There we go. Five puff caps. All right, Katarina Timo, two and one, two and zero oh against Deep. All right, so it's Infinite Scribes and buff them with Iceborne Legacy. So. Legacy of Sorrows. Cool. Got you down. Okay, playing against Jinx Draven. This will be pretty interesting to see how we do. Oh, all right, bye puppy. Puppy's like, I'm going to my bed. All right, we'll get rid of the two augmented experimenters. Keep the other two. Those are good. I'm certainly very worried about crowd favorites. That's probably what I'm most worried about right now. Yeah, with all these house spiders. Definitely worried about that. Basically, I was thinking like, should I cast Gotcha right now or should I wait till combat? Um. I don't think that they would pass turn, but they would probably attack, but just in case, I didn't want to waste all that mana, just in case they would, um, they would not pass turn. Alright, uh, Spinning Axe Vision, super likely, I'm not going to block with the Peddler. We got we got the other thermogenic beam to worry about.
Just in case they can level up Jinx. We're going to be doing the 4 damage to Jinx. Just in case. Yep, they could. And looks like I need to kill the other thing, not Astute Academic. That was a pretty bonkers turn. Take four or sacrifice a grenadier. I don't have like a whole bunch of units to be blocking with. Um, but let's see, I have like two removal spells for like two things. Neither for Draven. I could pair Mystic Shot with Ravenous Flock. Good chance they have crowd favorite. Not full attacking. That that's a guess. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Maybe crowd favorite. Right? Arena Battlecaster. We go with the pulling strike there. Probably like the easiest way for us to get a calling strike to do something. <clears throat> I haven't drawn a puff cap yet. Going to a very dangerous life total. Now we're cooking. Five against this deck. Okay, never mind. Six. Killing the other peddler. I want my card draw cards, I want Katarina, I want Teemo. That's what we need. We need our champions, Augmented Experimenter, and Progress Day. So that's 10 cards. We haven't seen any of those 10 yet out of our 12 that we've drawn. So 10 out of 28 are good draws. Um, the Static Shocks are great draws, too. Yeah, Static Shock would be fantastic. Okay. Katarina's good. That'll let me kill the crowd favorite. Attacking with the Peddler, I don't attack with Katarina. Draw eight puff caps. Love that static shock draw, that was very good. So there we go, out of the 12 cards I said that we need to draw, 
So we went two for two. Oh yeah, we have Eminent Benefactor. Balance Cat back to our hand. Just gonna play the Benefactor. Right, it's basically, do they have... Basically, do they have five points of burn to kill me? Making this attack so that now we put him down to two. So now even if they did have five points of burn to kill me, I have the Mystic Shot. So. Cool. That was a pretty great game. And we three and one. This is Katarina Teemo deck's pretty sweet. This is a fun one to play. Katarina and Timo. So this is pretty awesome. Yeah, you don't you don't see Katarina bounce on defense too often. That is not something you see too often. Brom Vi. Interesting. I'm going to keep these. This two, three, four static shock. Not sure if it's going to do enough against Brom or Vi. Mm -hmm. Those two sound pretty scary. I hope they don't draw their champions. I think we can probably handle the rest of the deck. Oh, it's a Poro deck. <laughs> Team Arena. That's that's the new name of this deck, Team Arena. Get some puff caps. <laughs> I can barely keep up. Have a mushroom. Have three. Have heard three. About you. What have I told you? Stay out of there. Um. I only give him eight. Mm. That's a good draw. Takes out Braum. It's pretty nice. Officer J. S. Hawkjaw, Unit Six. But do need to be worried about Poro Snacks turning theirs into a 2 2. And then trading with my Teemo. I mean, I do have a backup Teemo, but still, Teemo's too valuable. Alright, so we have Mystic Shot for this thing, Pulling Strike for Drom, and we got nothing for Vi. Oh, Vi, why are you so good? Oh, 
The three, there's no reason that three two should not be attacking. I mean, I guess I like. I could transfusion here and mystic shot and have both of those for Vi instead, uh, for the daring Poro. Because like, if I don't mystic shot the Vi, how do we ever kill this Vi? This Vi's a mess. Don't let them have Fury of the North. I mean, if they have Elixir of Iron, they have Elixir of Iron. Get back here. Obviously, that was not ideal, but... No going back. That's just how it is. How it be. How it do. It really feels like they've just been sitting on Poro snacks for a while. It's just an egg. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Is kind of wasteful against another Vi. There they go. They're afraid. They should. What have Poros done to you? Spent so much on that Teemo, getting that Teemo through. Please don't have another Vi. We got Braum covered. Just don't have Vi covered. caps. That's going to be our way to win. They got 46. It's going to be our way to win. Just say deal with 46 of those. Unfortunately, doesn't just draw cards, it creates them.
deal. They could have blocked with the 5 5 Overwhelm, but then I would have used the Transfusion to have those trade, which I would have appreciated as well. We obviously need Katarina to strike, so we'll go back to our hands and not be dead. This is pretty scary. This is pretty scary. They just have all that pump with that Aurora Porealis. Me taking five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Dang. Hey, Tumble Dog. Nice. Good job. Just played that Twisted Fate Sejuani deck against Ezreal Harrowing and had a great match. Love to hear it. Having all these Omen Hawks, they just get to they get to just jump block with. There are 46 puff caps out of 25 cards with 25 cards left. Oh no! This overwhelm one's the problem. Overwhelms the problem. Oh no, another six power overwhelm. I can't deal with two six power overwhelms. Yes, draw more cards. Yes. Who's gonna get in my way? Let's talk about your town. That was a mistake to play that card, by the way, that veteran investigator. And we need to draw burn, they need to draw a bunch of puff caps. No, not enough. Um are not enough. So close. And now if I would have kept that thing around. So close. I feel like I I don't know. I feel like I could have won this. I feel like I had the tools to win this. I feel like I was too focused on trying to have Teemo hit them, and I wasted too many cards early. And I, I should have been more focused on just killing the Overwhelm things and just keeping my life total high because we were going to have so many Puff Caps, and just the longer the game goes, we have so many Puff Caps, we could kill them. I think I could have won that. Um, but that's, you know, like, that's that's just the, the lure of Teemo. I, I focused too much on striking with that, and then they just Mystic Shotted it. But and I could have made I could have made some blocks earlier in the game too to um, preserve my life total a little bit more. I think I definitely could have won that game. Uh, yeah, that yeah, you're right. That that kindly tavern keeper heal. Yeah, they you know they went to exactly three if they didn't have that that kindly tavern keeper. Um, that was right on time. This is a fun deck. I liked playing this. Katarina Teemo. This was pretty sweet. You know, I kind of built this similar to the Teemo Swain control. House Spider performed really well as a blocker. Um, 
I don't have like a ton of three mana stuff, and I only have the one ravenous flock. It wasn't really turning stuff on. Like so, like the the eminent benefactor. You know, you could play something else. You know, you could play like a Rachnoid Sentry. Thought about that. Thought about like Crimson Curator even just to create some more Crimson units if it doesn't die, um, or you could just go more burn spells like. Um, like gotcha was like a card that i like always wanted maybe this should just be a like an automatic three of instead of playing the benefactor should just have three gotchas um but you know i just i wanted to try benefactor with the the last breath create an epic epics are are good like there's tons and tons of great epics um so i wanted to try that but gotcha was awesome and i frequently wanted more gotchas um so like maybe yeah maybe gotcha is better than just ravenous flock um or maybe yeah gotcha could just be better than death sand with it just doing the two damage i i definitely think that there should be a third gotcha in here um i'm not i'm not that big on on the sentry and the, just loading up on ravenous flocks and arachnoid sentries i'm not really that big on that to be honest it's nice whenever they're together. It's just whenever they're apart. Eh. I don't know. I guess maybe a Arachnoid Sentry would help Teemo hit them more, maybe. Maybe. Um, I mean, Death's Hand... I mean, all every single point of damage adds up whenever you're talking about a Puff Cap deck. Every single point of damage is important, and Death's Hand is another point of damage. And it's also a spell for Peddler to get some of the more Puff Caps, but... Um, with that being said, I do think I want Gotcha instead of the Death's Hand. And maybe, maybe another Static Shock instead of the other Death's Hand, you know, like, maybe, you know, because we have a lot of, a lot of options over here. You know, even Noxion Fervor could get you there. Um, I don't think I want a Noxion Guillotine, uh, but Static Shock definitely overperformed, especially with House Spider. Um, and just our other blockers and stuff. Static Shock overperformed. So I could definitely see just going Gotcha, Static Shock instead of those two Death's Hands. Um, yeah, I played one Ravenous Flock and it was so so. It was it was very good once. One time it was it was great um, in the discard aggro matchup, but then other times it wasn't so good. I could see doing that. And I'm not sure if I should just be playing three progress day, one augmented experimenter, or two and two. I split the difference with two and two. I could see going three and one um, instead of two and two. Because experimenter, you really got to have like an empty hand to play a progress day. You can play kind of whenever, and it also reduced the cost and everything. But you don't get you don't get the three damage, and you don't get the three three. Um, but yeah, if you really like Ravenous Flock, especially with another Static Shock, you could get rid of the Benefactor for another Ravenous Flock just fine. Um, you know, if you want to do that, if you want to go two here, get rid of this with putting in a third Static Shock. I'm, I have no, uh, no qualms about that. But there we go. So that was pretty cool. Katarina Timo, brand new one, just put this together, and that was our first time playing it. And I'd have to say that was a success. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Also try it out and leave those comments. Let me know, um, you know, how's the deck performing for you? Any kind of changes? Any, you know, got any great ideas? Anything like that? Always feel free to leave those comments. Also let me know how the sound's going. Hopefully the sound is better with a brand new chord um, going to the mic. Hopefully this sounds a lot better. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Katarina Timo. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.